Hey. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's the Tiger Master 360XC with our new video. Okay, so you're gonna find a video it's probably gonna be posted tomorrow talking about a david art rant and in that david art rant i was like oh i'm gonna go rant in a separate video about instagram so here's the video that i was going to rant about instagram today is september the 2nd that video was like august the 29th or something when i recorded that so it's a little bit weird that i'm posting this first but <laughs> who cares so first of all i'm drawing ace uh when he dies obviously he gets straight up punched drew the gut <laughs> And faces his utter, like, timely death. Anyway, this is a pretty horrible moment in one piece. So I decided to draw it. XD, LOL. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rant about Instagram as you're watching me draw this drawing. So, like, where do I even start with Instagram? I think I had learned a whole lot in a year. So if you look at the past video, I was talking about how instagram basically ruined my art career well it didn't ruin my art career it just made it extremely harder and i realized that in the years time i haven't really gone anywhere on instagram when i had made that video i had about 200 and i had 2200 followers nearly 2200 followers i think around that number now today uh, almost a year later I have 2,000 followers and sometimes it goes down to nine, 1,998 or 97 then it goes back up to 2,002 or something so basically I've been at 2,000 for the last year I have been posting I have been you know posting stories i have never like went months without posting or something like i long as i've probably gone it's like a couple of days without posting so it's like what the heck instagram what's going on why can't i get somewhere and i think one thing i realized it isn't too much of an instagram thing and i think this is something that we have to realize as creators is that there's a niche within a niche you know and a lot of the times the reason why social medias may favor a certain account over another is simply because they're niched down um my account is an art account which i guess is niched in art so everything you're going to see on there is art i'm never going to post a picture of my face or or a cat or a dog if i did have pets on there however that's not niche down enough so contrast between me in 2007 which was pretty successful i mean also instagram algorithm was way simpler back then but i also feel like my success could have still been consistent if i would have consistently stayed with that so basically in 2018 not even this 2000 well i guess in 2018 i got a little bit more inconsistent i started you know a little bit falling off of there uh i still posted fan art and stuff but it wasn't as often i would say as i was before back in 2007 i was posting literally almost er like literally every single day every single weekday i was posting pretty high quality cool looking artworks 2018 hit me and school hit me pretty hard um especially after the summer of 2018 i really 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 had to focus because like okay basically 2018 in general was like one of my hardest harder harder years when it came to school and then the summer i had like a summer job and i also was going to summer school so i can like level up on classes really quick so i didn't have time and in 2000 like uh fall 2018 semester was absolute horrible horrible so yeah i basically fell off my posting schedule then 2019 i guess like late 2018 really 2019 i started well this year i started posting more like digital art more original art and it was actually a higher quality in my opinion than the traditional art i would do my sketchbook however it's not what sells i, I think that's a big aspect of like social media if you think of it like a marketplace it's like what the heck sells and it's like you know you can make your original characters or whatever or digital art i feel like digital art in general isn't too popular with instagram well it's getting more popular but it's like it's fan art you know unless you're a really established artist i feel like you can start implementing original art into your stuff when you've already have an established following where people are actually following you because at that point because they actually like you 
um, but when you're starting off and you don't even have 10,000 followers, you got to post fan art. And that's something that I've realized now, super late into the game. It took me a year to kind of figure out what the heck is going on, why is this not working. It has a lot to do with uh, the Instagram algorithm, but also because the Instagram algorithm simply isn't going to favor me if it doesn't know how the heck to categorize my page. My page, I'm literally posting digital art. I'm literally posting uh original content well i mean they're all original content but you know like fan art original art ocs etc you know stuff like that and basically i realized or actually you know i like was talking to when the, talking to someone i like dm them or whatever they were saying like oh well you have to be consistent you know to post every day and then i was watching a live stream and they were like well you have to um post fan art like stuff that stuff that's shareable content aka fan art as an artist and i really didn't want to draw fan art anymore you know and and to be real with you kind of have to draw like fan art fan art straight but i'm not going to do that anymore i'm not going to just draw straight fan art. i'm going to add a little bit of my own flavor like i never really draw fan art in my in in like the original style i always draw it in my style but this time I'm going to probably add a, like make it more like a fan on type fan art. If you don't know what fan on is, basically where you like draw your own character kind of like cosplaying as the character. Like for instance, fan art art would be like you have an OC and you draw them in a Naruto clothing. That would be like a fan on type of stuff. Um so basically what I have come to realize when it comes to not just Instagram in social media well not just instagram but social media in general is basically that all of this is just means to an end the era where instagram could be used as a sole means of um income it's the same with youtube like literally because of the changes in like monetization when it comes to youtube and then with instagram it's more like the algorithm basically making it impossible and then they want to remove likes you know, it's like the era of being able to like be your, I, you know, I'm not going to say the era of being your own boss is gone, but like the era of relying on one social media to grow you and just using social media as your job, like using Instagram as your job is gone. It's gone. Now you have to look at it as like a means to an end. Like use it as another one of your multiple different social medias that you should be investing in to go ahead and funnel like almost like you have uh you know like imagine that you have a tree and you have a bunch of branches. You want to have multiple branches that are growing more and more branches so it feeds into the bigger tree which is your business so as an artist like for instance a little plug you guys i do commissions um just dm me on instagram or email me the tiger master at mail.com if you want a commission you're, you're more likely going to reach me quicker if you just dm me on instagram i would actually prefer that you dm me on instagram if you want a commission and yeah so basically like all these other social medias can be used to like get you more business however you shouldn't use social media as your business if that makes sense and that's kind of like something that i'm learning more and more and you know i i guess that's kind of why i'm trying to jump onto this to, onto like being more consistent on youtube it's just like i'm trying to grow quickly and strategically and not just sitting around you know it's not, not like i feel like i need to up my game when it comes to this because i really 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 want this to be my career and i really have to act like it is my career like doing art like i might live stream or post on my instagram consistently consistently but i start enough like for your business like you need to use multiple forms of social media and you need to be consistent on all of them you know don't run yourself crazy but you need to like it's kind of like that quote where it's like if you if you uh work as hard well it's like if you want something as bad as you want to breed then you will be successful like if you work as hard as you want to breed then you will achieve what you need to achieve but 
that's basically my motto for now on because I really feel like I could have I could be way further than I than I am but you know that's all a part of like learning it's all a part of like growing up and stuff and you just you will never know everything off the bat so you know before I just jump into a bunch of ramble I think my ultimate thing with like social media because a lot of people have been getting pretty agitated when it comes to social media and I mean I've been getting agitated too about social media it's just the fact that it's like it's not as easy as you used to you can't just do follow for follow you can't just like people's posts and expect them to follow you or check out your page anymore you know you can't just use automation not saying that i use any of these because i definitely never use no automation but i would say i'm guilty of follow for follow not as like yeah i would say i was guilty of follow for follow pretty much like the latter half of 2017 and then it pretty much didn't really work that well anymore once 2018 hit so yeah but i was using follow follow when i first started on instagram and i feel like a lot of people have done follow follow when they first start because it's like how the heck do you expect anyone to be on your page if you don't have any followers so you know like a lot of people don't follow you if you don't have a lot of followers so it's kind of like that and what i've also realized is that you know i really need to jump on my um game because um you need to have a constant basic you need to have a constant flow of new followers because if you don't have new followers to replace your old then you're just going to lose engagement you know i really can't tell you why exactly i have such low engagement for like some mix between having a bunch of ghost followers and also a mix between i, I low-key sometimes think that instagram purposely lowers my stuff but i also think it's just simply because the content that i post isn't the type of content that favors the niche that i'm going in you know i feel like the type of content that i'm posting is actually harder content to get noticed so i think a lot of the things that i've just been coming to realize i'm pretty much just sharing my thoughts on it right here it's just that you need to it's just you need to constantly you need to change your plan like better your plan evolve your plan but you don't have to like completely destroy your plan like you have your goal but you might need to change your path to the goal if situations change and that's what i need to do you know like i need people to stop looking at instagram and getting mad at it because they're always going to change instagram because they want to make money um by having all these algorithm excuse me by having all these algorithm changes <laughs> by having all these algorithm changes it forces people to buy advertisements um you know it's like you can't use a, a marketing agency anymore to really like grow your account now you have to use facebook directly i mean we gotta face the reality like Instagram is becoming like Facebook. It's, it's nothing we can do about it. I mean, nobody really wanted Facebook and Instagram to merge together into one entity. Like, nobody wanted that. I think Instagram was perfect the way it was. I think Facebook did good by adding, like, stories to it and other other features. But I feel like the way they... I feel like the way they've created the algorithm to kind of, like, push out um, automation, to push out businesses so that people feel the need to have to pay for advertisements you know and also lowering engagement has pretty much ruined instagram in a way that i don't even know if they can just fix the algorithm like that they also have it to where they kind of keep up on each instagram page so like if you have even if you haven't they like it's almost like they have a health score. It reminds me of like that thing off a of psychopath where it's like you use a psychopath to pretty much see everyone's numbers and if you had a certain number then you know you could become a become a criminal. It's almost like the same thing with Facebook. It's like they kinda have like a score on you and based off of that they kinda like dictate who sees your account, what type of engagement you get and in the end it, it makes you it like forces you to have to like use advertisements forces you to pay so as a person who might not have that money just understand that 
use Instagram with the idea that it's just a means to the end. It, it's not the end. Like, it's just a means to help you get to an end but don't like I, I feel like you could pay for ads and ads can be helpful but I feel like ads will never be never equate to using actual like influencers like there are feature pages I feel like feature pages are way better I've I've used um a feature page before on my other account and it grew my account like off of one feature like dirty followers in one day you know that type of that type of stuff is way better and i've used ads before on this account and it's literally done nothing for me i literally i might get a bunch of views but i never get a bunch of follows so it's almost like a waste of money it's a, it's honestly almost seems like a waste of money but it you gotta understand that advertisements are used for brand awareness and that's how you kind of gotta go for it so that your name becomes more known so i feel like you have to kind of create a strategy that's going to work better but stop looking at instagram as your business it's not a business and i feel like a lot of people who are who are marketers and using like being an instagram marketer like i can't tell you how many videos i've seen online of these children who've like dropped out of high school to be instagram marketing marketing agents or whatever social media agents and it's like I I don't think I would ever do something like that because I would never drop out of school to rely on someone else's business. Like, why would you do that? In my opinion, that's actually stupid because if something were to happen to Instagram, if something were to happen to YouTube, then what? You know, it's like I will never I would have never dropped out of school to become a YouTuber, never dropped out of school to be an Instagram model or something. No, because I'm not relying on other people's businesses for my well-being. I got to rely on myself. Like, I'm only using these as tools, man. It's kind of like a pencil, man. You know, if I didn't have a pencil, I still know how to draw. I could just use a pen, you know, but I'm not relying on that pencil because as soon as that pencil breaks, if I'm relying on it, then I can't draw anymore. Then then what am I, you know? You know, I, I got to rely on the skill sets that I have personally and, and use different tools. Like as soon as that pencil breaks, I got to just find a, I gotta find another pencil or find a pen. Like as soon as Instagram breaks, go ahead and go to TikTok or go to Twitter. Uh, I mean, like I have a DA, I have a Twitter, I have a DA, I have a YouTube, I have an art station, I have a Pixie Eve. Like I have different, you know, I have alternatives. I'm not, I'm not relying on Instagram. Instagram is not the only place where I have a fan base. It's not the only place where I'm ever going to just be, you know, that's my mistake in the past where I was only focusing on Instagram. I should have focused on other stuff too, you know and i think that's the that's the lesson for all of us because there are businesses who are failing failing was actually making a lot of money from being instagrammers not being just instagrammers but also being like instagram marketing agents and stuff and like running agencies like so many people lost a lot of money because this algorithm change like all deal with multiple algorithm change like every week in august literally bumped a whole bunch of people out of business and you see, that should be a lesson to all you guys, like to everyone. Don't just rely on one thing. Never put all your eggs in one basket. That's all I got to say. Never put all your eggs in one basket. You know, you're literally setting yourself up for failure. And that was my mistake. Like, I should have also been focusing on Davian or I should have also been focusing on making YouTube videos. You know, but now that I know. Now that I've learned my lesson, I'm going to make changes. So that's why I'm over here saying I'm going to post every single weekday till 1K. I don't care how late this post is going to be. It's going to be before 12 a.m. And I'm going to keep that consistency every single day, you know. And I'm going to keep making changes. Well, you see, if this is going to be posted really late, I should have been working on this earlier in the day. That's all it is. But I'm going to keep to what I need to do. And uh, to all you guys who are out there trying to run your own business, trying to become artists or entrepreneurs in whatever field you are interested in, just be consistent and don't put everything into one thing. 
have multiple means of income be be multifaceted like don't if you're an artist don't just do paintings know how to use digital art know how to do a little bit of animation know how to do graphic design like be good at something but also know how to do other things because if it comes to where like paintings ain't, ain't a thing anymore and you don't know how to do nothing else you're gonna be like oh crap you know now you're gonna start off from stage one when you could have been developing that a little bit and you would have been at stage 10 you know you might not have been stage 100 but at least you're closer than you would have been if you would have just started out you know what i'm saying so be be multifaceted. Have that one thing that you're good at, but be multifaceted. And that's in business. That's in any, like, that's in literally anything that you do. And I feel like Instagram, this Instagram lesson should, should teach all you guys, like, never rely on one thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video um, of me drawing Ace and my little comments about Instagram. Like, at first when I was thinking of making this video, I was pretty angry and frustrated. But then when I, I don't know what, I don't know what happened in between those two days. It's not even two days. August 9th, August 29th and today, September the 2nd. I don't know what the heck happened, but I really chilled out and I really like sat there and thought about things. It was like, you know what? Instagram isn't all that and it never was all that and it was never meant to be all that like you shouldn't just focus on one thing and this is what you get for focusing on one thing and in the end like when it comes to your account in general you need to like kind of niche down some more so that's just some lessons I've learned some comments just some thoughts that have came in my head so all of you guys who are watching this tell me what you think in the comments about Instagram and social media do you think it's a good idea to like focus on one social media or is it better to focus on multiple or and do you think that you should focus on one skill should you have multiple skills in one um what would you call that you know like hmm, i want to say like genre like you have like one aspect you know basically having multiple skills in one thing like being a multifaceted artist or do you think that's a waste of time go ahead and tell me in the comments um, like I said before, commissions are open. Go ahead and DM me, DM me on Instagram. I also have my web comic to update every Thursday on Webtoons. Um, and much more often on my Patreon, patreon.com slash the Tiger Master. Um, go ahead and subscribe. I'm posting every single day until I get 1K. Hit that notification bell so you can get um notifications right when i post and you could be the first person to see this post if you're a part of the notification game go ahead and tell me um tell me in the comments what type of name i should give you guys because i really don't know so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed in essence what i'm trying to say is like i don't think it's possible to steal an art style i mean i know a lot of people were saying that uh one piece and fairy tale art styles were very similar some people were saying that uh the creator of fairy tale has stole um i think it's older oh my gosh uh